Hundreds of firefighters and volunteers in southern Greece battled a wildfire for a third day straight on Tuesday, in a blaze that has already killed two people and devastated a large forested area, prompting pledges of assistance from other European Union countries. Three waterbombing aircraft from Italy and Croatia were due to arrive later Tuesday after Greece requested help through the 27-country bloc's emergency civil protection mechanism. The Greek Fire Service said more than 400 firefighters, assisted by 22 aircraft, were engaged against the blaze in the rugged mountains of Corinthia in the Peloponnese region. The authorities were optimistic that progress had been made as the main front of the blaze was out, leaving a large number of scattered fires. However, it remained unclear whether that success could be expanded on before winds whipped up and spread the blaze again. Officials ordered that another village be evacuated as a precaution Tuesday, a day after half a dozen similar orders were issued. A major highway that was closed overnight as flames swept close by was reopened on Tuesday. The blaze destroyed a historic church in the mountains and reportedly damaged buildings outside the threatened villages, but the fire service was not immediately able to provide further details. The two victims were identified as local residents who got trapped late Sunday by the fast-advancing blaze. Greece, like other southern European countries, is plagued every summer by destructive wildfires that have been exacerbated by global warming. Over the past few months, the fire service has had to cope with more than 4,500 wildfires. This year's had been flagged as the most dangerous fire season in two decades after the countryside was left parched by a protracted drought and early summer heat waves. Still, Greece's big investments in extra water bombing aircraft, warning drones and other equipment have led to most blazes being extinguished shortly after they broke out. North Carolina officials are pledging to get more water and other supplies to storm-damaged areas by Monday after Hurricane Helene left a trail of destruction across the southeastern United States. Authorities have struggled to get supplies to isolated areas including the city of Asheville. Massive rains brought by Helene left many people stranded or homeless around the region. The death toll from the storm topped 90 people across several states.